What's the story lads? I'm Hollow Gamer and today I'm doing a mod guide on the Coquette. But I haven't managed to get too many videos for you guys lately. That's because I've been doing this. <laughs> but now I'm back. So uh, in the last video uh, we did get 1,700 uh, views, I mean 130 plus likes, which I think was the target, we'll just go with that. And the top comment was from Jordan, he says, Your mom's so fat when she went past the TV, I missed three episodes. And that got five plus votes, which wasn't that many plus votes compared to the comments, because there was a shit ton of your mama jokes down there. But uh, yeah, so in today's video, we'll we do, I think we'll do another your mama's joke, so leave a comment. You know, leave a comment with a joke that says, you know, your mama something. Just leave a joke and I'll pick out the one with the most upvotes. Make sure you go down there and check out which one you think is the funniest and hit that upvote. And uh, yeah, whoever gets the most upvotes will be in the next video. So we're taking the Inverto Coquette Sports Class down to Los Santos Customs. I bought it in orange and it came in this orange and red colour, which was, was, was okay looking. And we're going to stick on full race brakes and we're going to go on to the front bumpers here. And we got the first bumper that's custom front, and then we got a custom chin, and then we got a custom chin spoiler, and then an extreme aero front bumper with them two little lights there. But I haven't unlocked it, which is absolutely piss annoying. You have to be ranked 64. I'm not quite there yet. I think I'm 61, maybe. I'm not, I'm not too sure what my level is. But we're going to have to put on the lower level one. And on the back, we have a painted rear bumper, a carbon rear diffuser, a custom rear bumper, and then a carbon diffuser and a tow hook. But we can't unlock that as well because it's a high rank. But we can get the custom rear bumper, which we're going to do. So that's slightly disappointing. We can't get the best possible mods. But uh, I didn't actually know that before I uh, got this vehicle. And the titanium exhaust as well, I still can't unlock. So really high level mods for this car. It is a very nice looking car. Lovely... Uh, back to it there, coquette symbol in the middle looks really good and we're going to put on these uh, carbon panels on the side of the fenders which is pretty cool just going to carbon the car up and on the top here we've got a double vented hood a vented hood, a carbon hood, a carbon vented hood and a performance hood which is a 11,000 nice carbon fibre with the vents there it just looks sick and we're definitely sticking that on got to stick on the Xeon lights obviously we always do and uh, stick on the custom plate I always go for black and yellow for some reason I like the custom plates like that and we have a roll cage option. And can we see, is there any differ any difference? Sometimes the roll cage changes other stuff on the car. Nothing inside seems to change other than the roll cage. And nothing on the outside seems to change either. Which is, you know, it's not too bad. I suppose it puts in a roll cage, which looks pretty cool. So we're going to stick that on. It says chassis upgrade, but doesn't really seem to change much. We'll put it on anyway. And for the roof, what are we going to put on the roof? Uh, carbon roof or stock roof? I think we might go carbon, will we? Yeah, we'll go with a carbon look with this vehicle, I reckon. Stick on the carbon roof. We're not selling it. it. sells for 140 grand at the moment with those skirts. Custom skirts or carbon skirts? Hmm. I think we'll just go with carbon. Stick with the carbon theme the whole way around. But that's good. I like the option. You can go with the secondary colour the whole way around. Or you can go with carbon. Which is really cool. So you have like different colour options, obviously. And uh, for the thing, we got a GT wing there, but I still can't unlock it. So there's a few things I can't lock in this car, which is disappointing. But I really like this tuna wing, mainly because it's kind of carbon at the top, and then it's the car colour on the side, which is which is really cool. I really like that. I'm gonna stick on our best possible suspension, transmission. Stick on the race transmission. We wanted this car to fly. Turbo 50k down for the turbo, no bother. Wheels. I, I always get stuck on wheels. You know, too much kind of options really with wheels. And we'll go through the ones here. We'll see if any look really nice with this car. The Faroshi, the Faroshi, they look a bit weird. Uh, the synthetic Z9000. I'm, I'm bad at picking tyres uh, alloys, I don't know why. I just, uh, <laughs> it's just there's too many options, really, isn't there? So many options. Uh, what we got with? Ice Kid. I want to go one, one of the ones near the bottom because you get the the custom tyres that has two, it has writing on both sides of the wheel, which is pretty nice looking. I think we go with these Endo V2s. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't, don't think I've used these on a vehicle before, so we're using something new. Custom tires get the white writing and the red writing on the tire, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we don't need to do much other than that, really. What, uh, well, if we go pure black, now I want to see the car a little bit, so maybe go light smoke or dark smoke. We'll just go, uh, we'll go dark smoke, yeah, that's a good idea. And that's pretty much it. Now we go, we'll let it go in respray, and uh, I don't really have a colour in my mind to do right now. What colour can we go for? I'm just going to go through the colours. Normally, sometimes I have a colour in my head. Candy, red, nice. Normally I have a colour in my colour in my head that I want to do, but I just wanted to go through a few colours. I think that looks really nice. For some reason, I'm just liking the candy red look. Uh, we go through a couple more. Oh, lime green looks nice, but don't have it unlocked. 
Uh, I think Candy Red's looking the best at the moment. You know, normally I have I have one already pre set up, but you know, sometimes I like to be spontaneous. You know, do one live. I think Candy Red with that kind of really nice white shine is looking really good with the pearlescent Candy Red with frost white or ice white. I think that looks really nice. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think of the paint job in the description below. If you have any paint jobs for me, lads. I'm pretty sure big in paint jobs. Have you any really nice paint jobs that I haven't done or ones you know what I mean you think are really like really nice, really unique? Uh, just leave them in the comments and I'll feature you in the next video. You know, if I pick them I'll just give you a little shout out. But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go for that for this video anyway. We'll just go frost white, will we? Yeah, frost white, I think look good with frost white. And uh, is that all we need to do? The secondary colour, I think that's only that's only the the inside, what's that called? The roll cage. So we will leave that red. We'll put that candy red as well, just to match up, sort of. Yeah, nice red, nice red uh, brake calibers there as well. Crew emblem. Look at the size of the crew emblems. Absolutely tiny there on the front top of the car and top of the bonnet. So that's probably the smallest crew emblem I've ever seen. It's really small. You wouldn't even be able to tell. You wouldn't be able to see it. But I don't like putting the crew emblem in if the car isn't green. For some reason, just like the match up the colors. And uh, yeah, let's take her first spin. Obviously now she's fully upgraded. She should be a flyer. And look at them lights, really cool, like rear lights. That's one thing that, uh, yeah, the mods, there's no mods in uh, GTA for the lights. You know what I mean? Normally you'd think there'd be like different types of light mods you can get. But not in uh, this GTA, which is kind of annoying, but you know what I mean? There's a lot of mods, you can't really complain too much. And we'll just drive in cinematic, even though I don't know what I'm doing. I always drive really bad when I'm in cinematic. I do think this color looks quite nice. Black and red, black and candy red, looks pretty sweet. You can see it shining white as well on occasion with that pearlescent. Really nice, really good car to cock at. Is it one of the fastest sports cars? I don't think so, but it's, I think it's one of the best to drive. I definitely did enjoy it. And if you guys have any cars you want me to do in the next video, make sure you leave them in the comments, because you know I'm bashing through these cars, I'm doing loads of them. And if you have any other ideas of like some other GTA videos you might want to see me do, because at this moment I'm only doing the car videos, I want to... You know, I'm kind of getting bored of GTA, I want to do something else, do something different, do something new, you know what I mean, to get me back into playing GTA, GTA 5 Online. So if you guys got any ideas, smash them in the comments. And yeah, I might just go, I'll go back to drawing board, try and come up with something to do. And uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. So if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. And as always, guys, go home.